following is a production of DallasCowboys.com and the Dallas Cowboys Football Club. How about this, Cowboys? Yeah! It's Cash, and we are back for another Boots in the Bubble. We have got more Boots, more Bubble Talk than you can even imagine. I think we're, what, day 12 here? And, I mean, we just can't stop, won't stop. Um, We're joined by your favorite Dallas Cowboys cheerleaders to give us the insight on what's going on here in the bubble during training camp 2020. And there's a lot going on to try and make this team happen. So to get us started, we have got long-term veteran, our fifth year, Maddie. Hi, guys. I am Maddie. I am 23 years old. I'm originally from Far West City, Utah. And like Kashira just said, I am headed into my fifth season, hopefully. We have two seasons until training camp ends, so I'm keeping my fingers crossed, and I'm going to keep working hard to earn those boots back. Uh, we love our Maddie girl. So glad that you're here for a fifth year. All right. Next up, we have got our sassy, our cheetah girl. <laughs> Give it to us, Ashley. <laughs> Hi, you guys. My name is Ashley. I'm from Shreveport, Louisiana. I'm excited to be on this little podcast <laughs> web virtual thing. <laughs> um, um, being here in the bubble has been fantastic. Um, just a different experience all around. So I'm just excited for it. Good. We're glad that you're here. You bring the best energy always. Yeah. Always. She's our, she's our party starter. Uh, Next, joining us in the bubble talk today, we've got Jalen. Hi, everyone. Um, I'm Jalen. I'm originally from Princeton, Indiana. I am 23 years old. And um, like Ashley and Daphne, I am hopefully going into my third season. Ooh, third year, best year. <laughs> third year is a good one. It's a good one. And then joining us also, we have got the sweetest girl on the West Coast, Miss Daphne. Hi, guys. Um, my name is Daphne, and I am 25, originally from Newport Beach, California. And like Jalen said, I'm so excited to be auditioning for my third year. It's crazy to even say that. I feel like I'm, you know, going into my first. It's been, it goes by in the blink of an eye, but it's exciting. I'm glad that three years of DCC, or I guess two years of DCC has gone by quick for you, because these 12 days we've been in the bubble have... <laughs> drug on forever <laughs> I'm like geez when is this gonna end <sighs> all in good time though all in good time I feel like this process has been so crazy trying to find a new team in the middle of all of the unknown and um you guys have been absolute superstars all four of you during training camp so far from what I've been able to watch and see so kudos to all four of you you guys should feel super proud of yourselves um, and your performance so far and um, all four of you make such great leaders on this team they're super lucky to have you um, especially the rookie candidates so I'm super lucky to have you guys on today and chat with y'all um, and it feels normal because I'm just yeah. making it with my friends <laughs> good. And, which is nice for a change because not a whole lot feels normal about being here in this bubble um Ashley, what is like what has been the most normal thing that you've experienced here in the bubble so far? Like what feels like second nature? Well, I just say my routine. That's one of the things I like to have established. So re regardless of what's surrounding me, I still wake up, read my Bible and try to listen to some music. So I say my routine stays the same, even though everything around me is crazy. <laughs> That's a good point. Like making yeah. sure that you can like, I, I think I heard on like a podcast once is like you, like the, like you can control your morning hours more than you can in the evening. So like, yeah, that's such a good time to really like set and establish those intentions. That's why your energy is always so good. Yeah. Yeah. Luckily, luckily we are able to have our mornings. Like that's the beauty about this training camp right now is we still get our mornings. So I get to kind of have my time to myself and then the work begins. Yeah. Good, good. Yeah. Okay. So Maddie, what has been the most normal thing? Cause you've been here with me since day one. <laughs> it, and like you said, it's been dragon. <laughs> it's, it's been so fun. Cause it's been really cool to like watch the training camp candidates from the very beginning and like see how much they've grown and like developed into what a DCC is supposed to be. Yeah. But it has been quite um, the last 12 days 
the most normal thing was when we got to go to the stadium, I think. Um, yeah. It felt like home to be back on the field. Uh, not that our rooms here, they've done such a good job at making us feel like we're in our own studio um, to really set up for this training camp, but nothing is like home and the stadium feels like home. So that's probably the most normal I felt since being in the bubble. True, true. The stadium did feel, it felt good to kind of like, yeah. Uh, Cause you know, like what this time last year, we were getting ready for your all's first preseason game. Isn't that crazy to think about that? That was the first time you were on the field. Yeah. Usually like it, thunder is set. You've got your formations, you know, your groups, uh, Jalen kind of give us like a, how everything's delayed. Like, how do you feel like that's going to take you into this next season? Are you going to like, do you feel prepared or like, um, what do you think these training camp candidates are kind of going to like the ones that actually do make the team, what are they going to experience and feel? Yeah. Like you were kind of saying, um, it's strange. Even when we were in the stadium, we were in our locker room. So these new candidates, they haven't been in the locker room yet. They've only been on the field once so far. Um, you know, I think they came in really prepared as far as like the dances and all of that. Um, but it is strange. The other day we were all reminiscing two years ago, yesterday um was when we made the team our rookie season um so it feels a little strange that we're mid-august and preseason would be starting right now and we're just a few weeks away from our home opener um so i think it's exciting but a little nerve-wracking still too because it still feels like there's a lot to get done yeah that it's that constant like i'm excited but i'm nervous you know, like it's like our go-to answer for everything. Any interview, it's like, how how do you feel? I'm excited, but I'm nervous. Yeah, and sometimes one more than the other, so I'm trying to like keep them somewhat level. Good. Like, yeah, it's it can switch on the drop of a hat for sure. Daphne, what's been the most normal part of the bubble for you, girl? I think the most normal part of all of this is, um, you know, the friendships that we've had. It's nothing's changed. Some of us haven't seen each other in five months, but being reunited on that first day, it felt like, you know, we had just left one day and saw saw each other the next. So that was really nice. And to have, you know, that sisterhood continue without, um, you know, the normalcy of it all, that's been um, the best part. And to add these new TCCs in is um, awesome too, and see them making their own little friendships and, and having the best time. So that's, that's what I love and um, what's been keeping me going. Yeah. Like, even though like you have to be, you know, distant and everything else, the, Mm -hmm. it doesn't change your, friendship and or anything else as far as that but it's a good point that you said that because actually it sort of like segues us into this next part about um watching them get here and being super nervous I mean we all five of us can relate to how the training camp process bonds you to the um like we call it your rookie class yeah. you know so it's like we the experience and the pressure it, it really does create that sense of like we're all in this together oh my gosh like we can do this. Um, uh, so like, I guess I'll take it to Maddie since you've experienced more training camps than any of the rest of us. Um, do you think that the team this year is going to be as close and especially the training camp candidates will be as close as teams in the past since we don't share that locker room time and we haven't been able to kind of spend, um, you know, our training camp is usually three months, not three weeks. So kind of give us that. I know that we've got some fun stuff planned today. So exciting. That's exciting. Um, I, yeah, this is, I'm headed into my sixth, this is my sixth training camp, which has been. Kind oh, of, wait, yeah. Oh yeah. my gosh. I mean, <laughs> that's so many training camps. Um, but I honestly think this has been a really good opportunity for like girls to get extra close. Cause we're in close quarters, even though we're doing the whole social distancing and, um, that whole aspect of it is very different. Mm-hmm. But, like, we're together all the time right now. Yeah. Oh, true. You would go home and you practice at home or whatever, and then you would come to practice at night. But right now, like, we have meals together every day. You can wake up and make sure your friends are going down to breakfast with you. And we obviously sit social distanced and we're we're making sure to stay safe. But there's a lot more time, like, downtime that we've had in that aspect that's been kind of cool. Um to get to know the training camp candidates and to get to catch up with our friends. Like Daphne said, some of us, it's been like five months that we've seen each other. That's the longest I haven't seen a teammate since I made the team. 
yeah so it's been it's been really good to catch up with everyone and yeah, that downtime, like when our, like when the meals are being served and stuff, that is, I think it's funny, like who you run into while you're getting your temp check. You know, we get our tents <laughs> taken yeah. every day. We do like our assessment and stuff. And I was like, so uh, how'd you sleep? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. <laughs> you lean in and get your like radar temperature thing done. I'm like, yeah, I had a weird dream last night. All right, well, you're hungry. Let's go get some coffee. Yes. <laughs> it's been a little more now. Yeah. <laughs> Ashley, give us, um, Give us a moment this week where you kind of experienced like being close to someone and, and sort of breaking through that, like that barrier with another teammate or something like while you've been here. Sure. Um, I'd say kind of like Maddie was mentioning that downtime that we're able to have when you just kind of feel like you're about to go, <laughs> go downstairs and practice by yourself, but you actually run into someone else that's practicing and you just have that moment to where you guys are wanting to practice the same things or wanting to run solos and just kind of having those times to bond. I think for me, that's what it was. It turned into late nights of some practice and mostly talking and bonding. So. <laughs> <laughs> that happened the other day. Wait, Maddie and Jalen, who else was down there with us? Alana? Yeah. It was super late. And I was like, dra- I mean, my eyes were starting to shut. <laughs> and I ended up sitting in the floor with you all for another 20 minutes at least. I was like, oh my gosh. Exactly. Yeah, it's so I'm true. And practicing, but <laughs> yeah. Next time Judy like mes- like makes a comment like, "Why did you all like look sloppy on that?" We're like, sorry, we're just really good friends, Judy. Yeah. So <laughs> maybe you join us. We got good intentions. <laughs> yes, that's what it is. We all start with good intentions, and then it yeah. just sort of ends up spiraling down. The- talking about like the carpet balls like how the carpet sort of starting to like wear off you know yeah it was stuck it looked like I hadn't shaved my legs in weeks <laughs> you know what I'm talking about though yes, yes. yeah it, it stuck to me I was like oh my god it scared me at first it does it's like how like sweatpants get like the little pebble things yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. carpet we're doing that to it from dancing on it you guys are working your hind ends off yeah. I've been that is one thing I will say that y'all have been dancing like crazy so today's an off day let's make that clear that you guys have gotten a break while you've been here so even though it's been work 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 there's a little bit of play um Jalen kind of talk to us about tonight like what we've got planned and and um what you're looking forward to yeah so like you Sherry was saying um this week has been challenging and I think I've seen Ashley at 2 a.m every night since I've been here (laughs) some shape or form last night it was playing uno socially distanced but every night prior to that um we've been downstairs uh doing routines and solos so we were all looking forward to this day off um and tonight i think we have some fun things that kashara and alana have planned for us yeah. uh, some good dinner and just a few hours of not thinking about the next time that our hip is gonna hurt or we're not gonna be able to move our neck or things like that <laughs> Um, to take a little bit of off and have some playtime in the in the midst of all the craziness. So yeah, yeah. I'm looking forward to. I've been looking forward to Friday since I got here last week. <laughs> <laughs> Working for the weekend. <laughs> Good. Yeah. I'm, I'm excited to get to hopefully I, I was talking to Kelly. I called her yesterday. I'd kind of chatted with a few of you all um, down at dinner the other night. And I was like, or I guess it was breakfast after um, you all had a super long show group day of auditions and solos. And I was, I just called Kelly and I was like, Hey, there's like the energy here is just drained. These girls are exhausted because yeah. you never get to leave. Right. I mean, that's the whole purpose of the bubble is that you're just in this constant state. Well, when training camp is going on, your like body is like in fight or flight all the time, you know? So like Daphne kind of tell us like how important it is to really be able to check out and have those moments where you just get to enjoy being around each other and not um, so much on the performing and, and making sure that you're being your best for Kelly and Judy. Yeah, I think it's so important to have this downtime as a team as well. You know, it's not all about the dancing. It's about becoming a team and being a teammate. And so having this time today to, you know, really get to know each other and have that team bonding. I think it's so important. And also just to not have the stress of everything that's going on and and Kelly and Judy watching you. And I think it'll go a long way for these, um, these TCCs and also just ourselves. It'll be nice to just have this time to, to have fun and to not worry about, you know, oh gosh, am I going to remember the dance that's 
coming on next or something. So. <laughs> that little moment of like a heart, where your heart just Literally, drops in your yes. stomach. You're like, oh, what song is this? <laughs> Lift. <laughs> yeah. It's <laughs> You just pray that a veteran turns and like yells out what it is. <laughs> well, speaking of like performing for Kelly and Judy, because that is probably, I don't know, you know, Kelly and Judy are so sweet and they've been in our shoes before. So like they know, but I don't know why it's so intimidating knowing that they're just, really like, so I like to imagine them like, uh, have you ever, have you guys ever seen the, like the NFL bad lip reading? Yes. yes. I like yes. to imagine that with Kelly. Do, Maddie, do you remember we did that at the stadium that one time? Yes, we sat and did it forever. And then I was like, that needs to be like the end of year. We have a video of them doing bad lip readings. And that would be you, funny. You need to make it happen. So I like to think of them while they're sitting there, like, I like to think of them like, oh, can I eat some bad leftovers or something? Like, something, like my stomach's not feeling too good. And then Kelly's like, get over it, Judy. You're being soft. And then Judy's like, but I did a deep conditioning treatment yesterday and my hair is flat. And then Kelly's like, shut up, Judy. Your hair looks great. And it's like, <laughs> if you go back and forth, it makes it not as intimidating. So true my advice for you all. Um, speaking of advice too, uh, I know that this process has been kind of um, isolated for you guys, you know, and you're used to being able to get off the phone or get out of practice, get in your car and get on the phone with your loved ones and your support systems, whether that's a family member, a significant other, whatever, a mentor, someone. Um, so I want to know like one piece of advice that either someone you care about or a mentor has gave you all for this process, or if someone, if you've given advice to someone or what, what's your mantra that's really pushing you to, finish this training camp in the bubble strong and, and, um, and make it your best training camp yet, even though it's so different. Uh, let's see, uh, Jalen, give it to us first. Yeah. Right. right. When you brought that up, um, I, when we were doing our little alumni interviews a couple months ago, um, I was talking to Gina and, um, she said, who was your alumni? Gina Parker. Oh, okay. Gotcha. So I was talking to her and something really stuck with me that she said, because we talk about, you know, Kelly and Judy being super intimidating and <laughs> right away. She's like, I've ran into him walking my dog before and like <laughs> wedding and, you know, it's been many years. And, you know, I think the reason for that is because, you know, as intimidating as they may seem and feel in the moment, like they are the two people that made our dreams come true and that yeah. can't away um but she said something that stuck with me and even though this training camp is really different than any other and it's actually probably more um overwhelming because we like I said we can't leave she said something that she told her rookie class when she was a veteran she told them um listen the night cannot last forever like it's if you're having a bad night like it's going to end at some point and you can come back tomorrow and do better or feel better or whatever it may be. So I'm like, some nights where it feels like I don't think I'm going to be able to do one more round of roulette. If they play one more <laughs> song or if they ask me to kick, I don't think it's going to happen. Um, so when I have moments like that, I'm like, okay, Gina, it's, it's going to end at some point and tomorrow can be a better day or, you know, you can rest your body or rest your mind or whatever you're feeling. So I kind of put that in my back pocket knowing that, you know, we could go to 2 a.m., but at some point they're going <laughs> to have to sleep too. So we're going to be able to at some point. Yeah, that's a great one. That's like good for life in general. Yes. At yeah. some point, the knot has to end and it will be Come new on, in the morning. Yeah. <laughs> you can start over. I like yeah. that. Yeah, that is good. Um, Ashley, what's your either mantra or a piece of advice that you've received about this process specifically? I think my mantra or quote throughout life is what God has for me is for me. So it's like as many times as I want to get into my head because this training camp process can do that. Um, I remind myself of that. I remind myself that God, God favors me. But also something different this year as um, I'm going into my third year, I find myself wanting to encourage others more and it in turn helps me. So I just find ways to I've been through this two times and I know the worst of it and I know how bad it can be. So I literally find ways to help those girls get through this process. And that actually in turn helps me too. So the cheerleader cheerleader yeah yeah (laughs) (laughs) that's so true though like that that um and they they look to you all so much especially the training camp candidates and even new veteran candidates you know those second years that's and what you said about getting into your head is accurate because I always tell girls I'm like this is a mental game 
Yes. More than it is physical about your dance ability. Like if you can keep yourself in it up here, then like you'll just go right to the top. So <laughs> speaking of keeping yourself in the game, Maddie, what has been a piece of advice or your life mantra? Because girl, you stuck it out, held out, yeah. still hanging on. <laughs> um, yeah, still hanging on. I think <laughs> there was still more to give. So I was like, I can't give up on this dream quite yet. I still have a lot more to give. But my mom actually sent me a text the other day and just like, she sends me little friendly reminders every few days that just like, if I didn't get to talk to her on the phone that day. And the other day it just said, um, be proud of where you're at because you've had a really long, hard journey to get there. Yeah. And don't forget about all the hard work you did, but enjoy where you're at right now. And that like, it was great because you don't ever know when this journey is going to end. You don't know if, injury is going to get in the way if it's not your time to be on the team anymore, if you're going to retire. And so it just, there's so many variables that tie into this job that to just enjoy where you're at right now is so important. And so that was really good to hear. Just I love that. Reminder. So I yeah. love every minute of that because we lose, like, I will say, I noticed in myself too, after, especially during my fourth year, I was like, I kind of lost my passion for dance. Like I was so focused on performing the best I could for someone else. I was like, no, 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 no. I love to do this, you know? So that's right. Like being happy where you're at and present in that moment. Mm. Mama Mads, Mads mama. She knows. <laughs> All right, Daphne, close us out with either your mantra that's kept you here or um, a piece of advice that you've received that's really helped you stay focused and driven while you're here for training camp? Yeah, I mean, kind of just going off of what Maddie said, I always find myself at the end of the night, I always call my parents and my mom knows a little bit about dance. So if I say, you know, I messed up that kid, she'll be like, okay, yeah, well, next time my dad doesn't know anything. So at the end of the conversation, my dad will always just be like, well, are you having fun? And I always <laughs> think to myself, you know, that is actually what, you know, makes your dancing yeah. What other people want to watch is if you're having fun. And I, sometimes I tell myself, if I'm, you know, a little bit down, I'm having fun. And just saying that has kept me going. And yes. um, I feel like this training camp over other ones, instead of, you know, focusing on each little move, just trying to enjoy the process and knowing that, you know, like Maddie said, we, we're not sure when this journey ends. We're not sure if tonight's our last night or if something comes up in the world and, and whatever it may be. And so um, just kind of just trying to stay in the moment, stay present and um, have fun with my friends and doing what I love and getting to dance every night. So that has been keeping me going. And I've actually been having a great time at training camp and I'm like when we leave I'm, I'm gonna be a little bit sad that we're not all living together anymore <laughs> we need to do this but um yeah it's been great and it's definitely challenging but um having you guys by my side throughout it has been um so helpful so uh, well it's cool whatever advice that you've received is clearly working because you got a great compliment yesterday from Judy mm -hmm. and you. Kelly um we were talking I mean I was telling Judy I was like I've really been loving Daphne and she just brings us like this light, airy, like, it is so refreshing to watch you dance. So whatever Thank you've been you. repeating in your head, keep it on repeat. Don't push shuffle. Don't Thank push you. Shuffle. Don't push shuffle. Yeah. Repeat, it's so repeat. good. <laughs> and I'm girl. always an advocate for fun. So I hmm. firmly believe, and if you're having fun, it's going to transfer to everybody else. I promise y'all. Um, and I'm having so much fun right now that I would love to keep chatting with you guys. But we are out of time. But before we go, I want to do rapid fire. One thing that y'all think is fun, because I want to end on a fun note about training camp. And it can be any of it. What's fun? If it's funny, Maddie, you start us. Go. Uh, <laughs> put me on the spot. Um, it really has been so fun to just, like, practice with my friends again. That, like, during the season, it, like, you know, well, and – in the past, I think I've probably taken advantage of being able to hang out with my friends and hug my friends and do yes. stuff like that. And so to go months and months without being able to do that and now being able to spend any time with them in person um, has been so fun. So being with my friends. I like that. Being with your friends is fun. Yeah. Ashley, what's your um, fun thing? Fun, funny. Um, okay, I, overall, training camp is fun. I say maybe the funny moment is when someone – I don't know. Oh gosh, let me think. 
I'm going to go with funny. Come back to me. I have to go with funny. Let me look at funny. <laughs> okay. You, you think, okay, Daphne, what's your fun moment of training camp so far? Um, I think it's been real. I'm going with kind of funny too and fun, but um, just, we all kind of live on the same hall. So I feel like we're in a college dorm and um, I know today Kelsey got locked out of her, out of her room. And she was just in a towel and it was just like hilarious. And I was like, you know, the things that this would not happen in a normal training camp. So like the yeah. memories that we're making that, um, you know, just in this downtime are hilarious and um, you know, things that I'm going to remember forever. So that's a good one. That's a good yeah. one. All right, Jalen, what's your funny, fun moment of training camp? I think I have to go on the um, the whole moment with – Ashley and I have had some moments the past couple of years. <laughs> uh, I think we've been together like many hours where we probably should have been asleep. Um, and yesterday she said something about, I don't know, getting as low or as big as we possibly could. And I think <laughs> – but I challenged her to it and I did one of the dances for about six inches from the floor as <laughs> as and I was like well and then the night before that we were downstairs I saw 230 hit and we were doing one of our sidelines that we've done since we were rookies we did a full 30 seconds of the routine in a contagion and neither of us knew who was right or wrong we just like <laughs> started busting out laughing I was like well, this is not good we need to figure this out <laughs> moments um yeah. just joking around with each other that's been the best part yeah that, that middle of the night delirium setting in yes. oh, it's the delirium for sure I was gonna mention Jay again but it's more so like the the phone texts pictures yeah. snapchat pictures that I'm receiving oh. in the middle of this training camp from my girls <laughs> hilarious Jalen's still in the bed this morning probably wasn't gonna get out of the bed um from Kat you don't even want to know. Yeah, all the <laughs> crazy, yeah. crazy girl. But the, I think that's the funny moments. Just seeing those in the bubble pictures and photos. It's like how everyone is communicating with each other. Like I got an airdrop from Hannah the other day. She was literally maybe <laughs> 10 feet from me. And it was like this picture of her in bed, just like no makeup, hair up. I was like, so funny. she just looks up on her phone and laughs. And I was like, <laughs> If you can't share a hug, share a bad photo of yourself. It will go a long way. Yeah, that is good. All right. Well, thank you guys so much for sharing your time and your day off with me and everyone else who is watching Boots in the Bubble. We love hearing about you all and, and your days here in Training Camp 2020. Um, everyone else, make sure that you leave your questions in the comment section. We want to know what you want to know. We've only got a few days left here in the bubble. So get your questions in quick because it's wrapping up and we are on our way to making a new team of Dallas Cowboys cheerleaders for the 2020 season which Jerry just announced we will have fans at AT AT&T baby that's huge that is something that is something to celebrate let me tell you so that is a huge blessing we are pumped um, to have such great ownership and, and everything from top to bottom in this organization. So, like I said, leave your questions in the comment section. Use the hashtag Boots in the Bubble, and we will see you all later. Thanks, guys. Thanks, Bye. guys. Bye. Thank you. This has been a production of DallasCowboys.com and the Dallas Cowboys Football Club. How about